Look at you all double cheeked up on a Wednesday. Hey everybody. So I just wanted to come on here really quick. I filmed the video you're about to watch on Wednesday and I had gained 200 subscribers. So that brought me up to 700 total. And I was shook. That is 700 actual people sitting there watching me struggle on the internet. Like 700 whole ass human beings. And then today is Sunday morning and I wake up and there are over 5,000 of you. And I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> crazy it's nuts it's bananas I don't know if that's the appropriate response like don't get me wrong I appreciate you so 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 very much let me let me just say like I have two friends in real life and they don't live in the same town as me so my phone is pretty dry so it's just been really cool to be like getting constant notifications and like everything so i just wanted to thank you so much and let you know that i appreciate you and all your comments and i will be responding to all the comments it's just gonna take me a little bit of time <laughs> like, um i mean you took the time out of your day to watch my video and leave a comment and that means the absolute world to me and not only did you leave a comment but like all of the comments that i've read so far have been supportive and nice and rooting me on and I'm just like it's crazy it's so crazy not to get all Elon Musk on y'all but like is this a simulation how is this real life <laughs> well actually I did read one comment that called me fatty mayonnaise <laughs> I'm not even mad about that. Like I laughed for like 30 minutes because I don't know if you guys have ever watched the cartoon Doug, you know, his love interest was named Patty Mayonnaise. <laughs> and I was just like, what a funny nostalgic insult. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but like, I mean, like the majority of you are just so, so, so supportive. So I just wanted to like, you know, express my gratitude. So yeah, now on with the rest of the video. <laughs> I had a fever dream last night about chicken and waffles. So we're gonna try to make some chicken and waffles today. Just have a chill day. The best combination ever is sweet and savory. Chicken and waffles hits the criteria, but fried chicken and syrupy waffles isn't exactly like health food. I'm gonna try to see if I can make it like a little bit healthy. I have some ideas. So what we're gonna do is go to the store and secure some libations so we have all the things that we need. But first of all, um, <laughs> okay this is embarrassing, but this is the first time that like I've worn jeans in a while. Usually I'm prancing around in some leggings or pajama bottoms and I just want to show you something real quick. First of all, don't make fun of how messy my room is. Um, I'm not a functioning adult. And you shouldn't expect that from me. Keep your expectations low. For Christ's sake, I just told you that I hadn't worn jeans in like two months, so don't come for me. But wait a minute, hold up. Who is she, girl? Who is she? Look at you all double cheeked up on a Wednesday. Yes. Normally these jeans are tight and uncomfortable and I can't breathe. And when I do sit down, I used to have to unbutton them. They fit now, they're comfortable. So I just thought I would share. And show off a little bit. But now let's go to the store. I looked up a ton of recipes last night. I think I'm like a certain type of person where when I look stuff up and I look stuff up too much, I get overwhelmed and then I just go rogue. So I think I know the basics of like what I wanna accomplish. I don't know if it will work. I guess we'll see. But just let it be known that I'm terrible at cooking cause I can't follow a damn direction to save my life. We're just gonna wing it and see how this turns out. I forgot to do the intro. I'm wondering if it would be too awkward to just do it now. I guess we'll see. Hi, my name is B. <laughs> Hi, my name is V. If you didn't know, I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds. If you want to support the struggle, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All of those things really help out the channel. Was it awkward for you? It was awkward for me. Okay. I'm the worst YouTuber ever and I'm really sweaty. God. Look at my little bee friend. Cute. Fly away. Fly away. Oh. He fell off. Okay, hey y'all, we are back from the grocery store. I got my boneless, skinless chicken breast here. Of course, the Kodiak Cakes, Power Cakes, Flapjack, and Waffle Mix. That's 14 grams of protein per serving, so that's cool. Oh my god, okay. 
I just got a little thing of syrup. This one's 50 calories per two tablespoons, so I thought that was decent. Did you know that Kodiak Cakes has this muffin mix? I'm not gonna try this today, but I'll probably let you know on my Instagram how it is, so um, if you're curious, I guess follow that. <laughs> For the chicken, I kind of have this crazy idea. What if instead of breading to like mimic the fried chicken, we used rice cakes? So I don't know. We will see how it goes. I got this Bob Ross waffle maker for Christmas one year and it's just been sitting in my closet for the entire time. I guess we're gonna make some waffles in the shape of Bob Ross's face. That looks terrifying, but we'll see. Okay, we're just gonna go straight into making it. This is me shoving rice cakes into my mini blender. Then I just went ahead and seasoned that with garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and salt. And it blended up pretty nicely, and then I added too many chunks to it, and it didn't blend up so nicely, so then I got like these whole rice cakes. But it's okay, I just mushed them up with my hands, so I thought it would be actually better to have like some fine pieces and some large pieces. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the chicken part, the grossest part. I put that in a large Ziploc baggie and then beat the devil out of it. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, that was a Bob Ross joke. Then I go ahead and trim the fat and then cut the chicken into manageable slices. I'm getting an egg wash ready for my dredging station. I used three eggs, but I didn't really need that many. Two would have sufficed. Spraying down my nonstick skillet with extra virgin olive oil spray. Then we start breading our chickens. And my fingers got really disgusting. We're gonna clean up and continue on with the waffles. Recipe calls for one cup of the Kodiak mix, one cup of water, one tablespoon of oil. Now I mix that all up, super easy. Pour it in the mold. Chickens have been cooking for quite a while. Um, I cut into them and check that they're done, and they are. And that's it. I have one and a half Bob Ross waffles, some chicken, and a peach. Now all I have to do is add some syrup. Fantastic. So let's try everything. Oh my god, it's wind. Oh, here's the waffle. <laughs> mm. A chicken plus the waffle. Everything looks the same color. Mmm. The breading on the chicken honestly doesn't even need to be there. I mean, it kind of just tastes like grilled chicken. When I blended up the rice cake, it got really thin and didn't really get crispy. It probably would have if I fried it, but I'm not about to fry it. I'm kind of thinking about investing in an air fryer. I keep seeing those around, but I'm like, I don't have the counter space. You know? I don't know. I'm glad I tried it though. Something new, something exciting. I've been watching a lot of the show Somebody Feed Phil on Netflix. It makes me wanna cook things. It also makes me wanna travel the world and be more um, like yogurt girl, like cultured. But I don't know, I also get lost really easy, so I'd need to go with someone. <laughs> as much as I wanna be like, girl, I'm independent. I could do anything by myself. I, um, I can't, cause I know I would get lost and probably have a panic attack and and die. I just stopped using the fork and started just eating with my hands. I think I just really wanted all the carbs, to be honest. I mean, that waffle hit the spot. I'm really full now, though. I can't even finish it all. I have this much chicken left. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. Now I have a whole mess to clean up. Hi, guys. It's been about three hours since we ate last, so we are going to make another meal. I kind of want an egg sandwich. Girl, are we gonna have breakfast all day today? I think we are. I think that's the theme for today. Okay, we're gonna start by chopping up some spinach finely. Go ahead and add two eggs to a bowl. Season it with garlic powder and you guessed it, salt. Add in the spinach and we mix that all together. It's super easy to add spinach to absolutely everything. You just boost in the nutritional value. Then we got an avocado. I'm just using the whole thing so it's like three ounces. Chopping up some tomato, getting some of that mini bell pepper in there, red onion. We're mushing that all together and we're just using the avocado as a binder. Seasoning it with garlic powder and salt again. Oh my god, you're probably sick of that. And making a guacamole. We're gonna go ahead and cook our egg. I kind of formed mine into a patty because we're gonna put it on an English muffin. So I want it to be all uniform and nice. And I bought these like huge portobello mushrooms and we're gonna eat some of those on our sandwich today. We're gonna toast our English muffin. 
So we're gonna almost burn down the kitchen. Now just assembling everything. Yes, I'm gonna eat all this guacamole. And yes, I'm gonna love it. Slap on our mushrooms and our lid. Slap it down for approval. And then I'm gonna add some chips. And I ran out and I was super sad. Super excited about all this guacamole. I'm sad I ran out of chips. These are my favorite kind of chips right now. We almost had a disaster with that portobello mushroom, but we persevered. So, so good. So messy. Avocado has been my absolute favorite thing recently. This is my second jug of the day. I'm still keeping up with my gallon a day. I haven't quit. I really have been eating quite a lot compared to like other diets that I've ever done. And I feel amazing. Like it's great. Mm. My hair is annoying me. It's my shark week this week, so I'm letting myself have more calories. Like my maintenance calories technically are 2,555 calories a day to like maintain the weight that I am now. However, I'm having a really hard time hitting that number because I feel fuller and more satisfied. I got quite a bit done since you seen me last. Like I did some stuff like work at home kind of stuff. I cleaned my room. I guess that's really all I did. <laughs> it felt like I accomplished a lot, but now that I'm telling you, I don't really have much to report. I clean my room like every week. I'm just a complete mess. Like I thrive in chaos, I think. <laughs> because I cleaned off my desk and everything and made it presentable. It'll just look like a tornado hit it again tomorrow. So I don't really know what to do about that. I'm definitely not the most organized person. Which brings me to my next point. The dance challenge starts tomorrow. I'm recording this on Wednesday, but I will put it up on Sunday so that there will be like a video before the dance challenge. So just to let y'all know if you're new, we're gonna be doing a 21 day dance challenge where you just dance every day for 21 days for 30 minutes a day. Someone in the comments of my last video was like, was wanting me to let everyone know like what videos I'm doing. First of all, that's a really freaking good idea. Like you guys are awesome at helping me orchestrate this whole thing because like I had mentioned, terrible at any kind of organization, setting things up, anything like that. I came up with the conclusion of just making a playlist a day of the dance workouts I'm doing. They're gonna be pretty much all fitness martial because that's what I like to do. But like I said, it's completely up for interpretation. If you don't wanna do those workouts, you don't have to. I'm just giving you what I'm doing in a concise place. So I guess I'll make like a bunch of playlists like day one, day two, day three. It'll be easy for me just to click on it and like do the workouts and like then play back to back to to look out for that. The first one will go live tomorrow. I swear you guys are so smart. And then someone else suggested that I like make up an, my own hashtag. And so I haven't made that up yet, but it will be right here. <laughs> Yay, post editing magic. It's probably gonna be something super long and ridiculous, so I'm sorry. <laughs> if you look at all the posts with that specific hashtag, then you can see everyone else who's doing the challenge and, and all kinds of cool stuff. We can make like a community thing. I'm trying to figure out like what workout I wanna do today. I'm kind of thinking like something, something like yoga.
bring that gentle smile back to your face. From the strength in me to the strength in you. My favorite part about yoga is Shavasana, the part where you just lay there. Every time, love it. Here's my final meal of the day. It is what I call my charcuterie board. By the way, charcuterie is my favorite word. I'm gonna just keep saying it. Charcuterie, charcuterie, charcuterie. This charcuterie board consists of cantaloupe, eight triscuits, strawberries, and extra sharp cheddar cheese. It's like an adult Lunchable. I wasn't feeling very hungry at all, but I still wanted to get in some more calories. So I ate this and watched a rerun of 90 Day Fiance. It's about 7.30. My eating window ends in about like 30 minutes. I'm pretty full, but I want something sweet. I think tonight I'm going to have one of these. If you don't know what these are, these are called enchilocas. It's like a watermelon candy covered in tamarind and then with chili powder and maybe chamoy sauce. I don't know. It has like this, this gooey bit. But like these are one of my favorite candies. Um, and these are like 60 calories for one. I didn't get anywhere close to 2,555 calories today. I just wasn't that hungry. So I know like this week is all about like maintaining. But I might actually end up losing. Because like the past few days too I haven't been able to hit that goal. I don't even know if that's like a valid complaint. Like I'm over here being like <laughs> I couldn't eat all my calories today. Like I'm sure y'all are annoyed. <laughs> I still don't really have like strong cravings. Like this morning I was like, chicken and waffles sound good, but I wasn't like I needed to have it or anything. So I think that means that like my nutrition's on point, like I'm not really lacking in any department. So that's pretty cool. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry if this video is the most boring video ever, but it's a reflection of my life <laughs> because my life is so boring. I mean, this is what I do every day, especially in quarantine. You know, I don't gotta commute to work so I'm just like at home most of the time I go to the grocery store I see some bees god if anyone made it to this point I am so impressed <laughs> I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one bye